Well, the rabbi knocked up Mrs. Oglesby underneath a silver maple tree behind the synagogue on a night he came to rue. Now, I don't blame Mama for loving a yid, but the lowest thing that she ever did was when I was born, she went and named me Jew. Now, Mr. O was always boozy and broke, and he owed a lot of money to a lot of folk, so he blackmailed Dad not to tell him all he knew. Well, then Dad run off to Tel Aviv, left Mama and me alone to grieve when Mr. O died on Christmas of the flu. So I never did get circumcised, and Mama got religion and got baptized, and took me to church where I got baptized too. Well, they christened me Theophilus, but couldn't go to court because it cost too much. So on the roll in school, the teacher called out Jew. Well, I dropped out of school in my early teens, but I couldn't hide those Ashkenazi jeans, that crooked nose, and the beady little eyes. I had a gentle heart, and I was strapping big, so I went into farming, raised a pig, that won a blue ribbon and a $300 crown. Well, I bought me a ticket on the crypto train, and was able to sell it for one hell of a game, and disembarked before the train ran out of steam. Well, I took good care of Mama and I sold the swine. Bought a first class ticket on a big airline Ladies to travel the world thank you very and pursue much for your all of my dreams. Campus. You can sit back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff. The captain has made tower communications available, so if you'd like to monitor the air traffic. Well, in Cairo, I met a Palestinian belle. She laughed at my jokes and we got along well. And her daddy gave me her hand that next July. Now, as we were taken to communion wine in an ancient church in Palestine, I heard a god-awful noise. Then I started to cry. Well, my love was slain right before my eyes as white phosphorus rained down from the skies. Then everything went black, and I thought I was dead. When I woke up, I was wearing a gown, missing a finger, and about a pound of flesh and blood and lying in a hospital bed. Well, I was sound of body, Troubled in mind. After weeks of rehab, I knew it was time to avenge the one whose love had been so true. So I made myself a killing machine, and I got tough and hard and lean. Those cocks were gonna have to wreck it with a boy named Jude. Well, it was early April on K Street, D.C., and the flowers were blooming on the cherry trees. When I walked into a conference room that was fully packed, the Interfaith Coalition for Reproductive Choice was married to lesbians named Rita and Joyce when I raised my Colossian car to my shoulder and attacked them. Well, they were dropping like flies as I kept going when I saw a name tag the Red Rabbi Cohen and my own two eyes and nose looking me right back. A cowering little imp right out of hell knocked David on his lapel as I looked him up and down and said, Listen, Jack. Well, my name's Theophilus Oglesby, and I can forgive what you did to me. My wife, an unborn child that you never knew. But you're still going to have to pay a price. So let me give you a piece of advice. Start talking to Jesus, because you know he died for you. And as I detonated my final bomb, I looked at Dad, and I thought of Mom. The pillars came crashing down.